Hi guys, welcome back to Kickback Garage. Now, uh, Steve has come uh, come on from his uh, Christmas holidays and he's bought loads of nice uh, shiny parts. So I'm going to commence uh, rebuilding Steve's engine here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is change out these studs because uh, I'm not sure if I do that you may be able to see them. They're actually different heights and uh, quite a few of these are pretty worn. So what I'm going to do is uh, change these studs uh, with the MB scooters, the shiny stainless uh, stud kit and I do this on all the engine builds that I do uh, basically because once you fit these it's a case of fit and forget uh, what can be a bit of a pain in the bum is uh, actually extracting them out of the case because these have obviously some of these have been in the scooter since the scooter was new so at least 60 years old and uh, what I use is uh, these fancy gadgets here, which are stud extractors. As you can see, this is an M8. And on this uh, set screw in the top, ooh, on this uh, set screw in the top, there's like a ball bearing. So what you do is you wind out the set screw. I can actually show you the bearing. I think that's pinned in. If I'm not correct, no, it's uh, sat loose in there. So uh, you've got this stud uh, that you screw in the top of the stud extractor. Um, actually, this uh, set here, which comprised of M8, M6, and M10, for some strange reason, I'm pretty sure I bought this off MB scooters, but you can find them uh, proper tool tool shops. So what you basically do is you just wind them down. Now, if you find that these uh, are a pig to get out, or you get some slippage, uh, you can apply some heat. But as you can see, I've removed one here already, and I'm pretty sure these should come out quite, pretty easy. So I'll move this uh, into the center of the shot. So what I do is you hold this, you wind that down as far as it goes, and you hold it. This particular tool has got a 19 millimeter head. And you just tighten down the center uh, set screw here so that you tighten it up against the, the stud. And with a little bit of luck, when you wind that off, You should be able to extract, there you go, that, that, this came out really easy. So, ta -da, dead, dead simple. So, gotta get rid of the rest of them. So out of all the studs, I uh, managed to remove uh, all of them except for one. There's always one, isn't there? So we'll uh, apply some heat on that one before we try and extract it. I imagine by now that the guys at home are thinking, oh, why don't you use the double nut system? Now, for the people that don't know what the double nut system is, it's basically you wind on one nut, and then you wind on nut number two and then you tighten them against each other and that should give you enough purchase on the on the stud to be able to take it out mm. the reason why i'm not using that method is because these uh, stud extractors are cheap as chips and they do save you quite a bit of a hassle <laughs> basically and sometimes using the right tool for the job is a uh, part of the fun in it so let's give it some heat this uh, this puppy so what I'm doing with this, I'm heating the case and trying to avoid heating the stud. Uh, in theory, that should uh, make it easier to extract.
I wound that down so far on the tool that I have to use the old vice grip to take it off because I'm not using these studs, it doesn't matter. So those stud extractor tools there, they do make life a little bit easier. I mean, if you're just going to do the odd one, then of course you can double knot it. But it does, it does go quick, quick, pretty quick with the old stud extractor tool. Right, so while all the studs are out of the side case here, you can see there's quite a lot of uh, gasket and high spots here. So what I'll do, I'll uh, get the old scotch bright and uh, some uh, bread cleaner and I'll just clean up those faces which makes it a lot easier to do before I fit the new studs. So that's the gasket face cleaned up as good as I can get it. It's uh, I think someone's had a bit of a accident with a screwdriver here. <laughs> But the other thing I've noticed uh, while I've been cleaning up the, the gasket face is the fact that every single one of these screw holes has a helicoil. So it's had a tough life in this case. So normally what I'd do now would uh, chase the, the, um, the threads with uh, an 8 and 6 millimeter tap. But because these are helicoiled, I don't think I'm going to risk it. And I'm simply going to blow out of these with uh, compressed air to clean them up a little bit before I fit the new studs. Right, now I can uh, fit the new studs. Now the MB studs, I'm not sure if that's how they were originally, let's have a look, nope, the MB studs as you can see here are slightly longer on uh, on one of the sides there, uh, I'm not really to tell you the truth sure which way you're supposed to fit them but I normally fit them with the longer side in the case uh, which uh, Gives you better purchase on the studs when you fit your uh, usual Loctite. And they sit pretty good. I use this Loctite here, which is 272. It's the high strength type. Because this is uh, pretty much a permanent fix. If I can get it out. Now, don't go to town on this. It is uh, really strong stuff. If you use too much uh, Loctite, you can actually risk um, the case expanding and uh, breaking. So, just a dab. And we wind them in. Now, obviously, if you can't wind them in all the way by hand, either you've not gonna done a good job when you chase the chase the threads, or uh, you're not using new studs. But you can obviously use the extracting tool to to fit them as well. So hopefully, I'll be able to wind all these in by hand. With the fact that they're helicoiled. And it looks like a can. So let's get cracking with that. Right, that's job done. Well, as you saw, most of these are just put in by hand by using the little tool just to give it a bit more leverage. There's absolutely no point in uh, screwing them further in than the, than the shoulder on the screw. That does nothing except for bugger up your threads. 
So the last thing I'm going to do now is uh, wipe away the excess uh, Loctite here that's come on the gasket face and that's us that's us done uh, that should mean Steve can take his uh, chain case off as many times as he wants in the next uh, years to come and this does save uh, quite a lot of hassle compared to if uh, like I said if you've got the GP type with with the screws so well worth upgrade and last but not least it, it looks a damn sight lot prettier <laughs> so thanks for watching again uh, people and in the next video I think uh, Sebastian is going to start putting this engine together for Steve so do the subscribe give me a thumbs up comments down below and uh, I'll see you in the next video see you later lads Messing around with these cameras, battery is going flat. All sprung in log of villa come under talk. In your novice mac out to other forty frog for what to do or draw. Kimmy phone couldn't send come at the hustle to cover so we are the brother last summer.